What's up guys? This is Church with Icebound HVAC and Refrigeration out of Savannah, Georgia, Pooler, Georgia, you know, tomato, tomato. Uh, today's episode, we're going to talk about uh, the six ways to protect your AC unit this hurricane season. So uh, little known fact, we're in Savannah, but uh, a lot of people don't realize this. Hurricane season starts June 1st and then ends uh, November 30th. So it's a pretty long season and um, we're right in the middle of it right now when we're recording. But I wanted to make a, a quick list, a quick video, just kind of giving you some pointers on how to be prepared. There's a storm brewing out in the ocean right now uh, that may come our direction here this weekend. Uh, so really quick, I want to tell you so, uh, these, six, these six tips. Uh, number one, uh, pre-cool your home. So if you know that it's going to, uh, you're, you're going to lose power, uh, it's not uncommon for us to lose power for a week. It's not fun to do that. Uh, best case scenario, you have a backup generator, but at this point, it's too late for us to install a generator for you. Uh, so in the future, if you do want a generator, reach out to us and we can work on getting a, a whole home generator installed for you. Uh, but if you don't have that, then there's a chance that you may go a day or two or a couple hours without air conditioning. And uh, what I would recommend, number one, is to pre-cool your house just to make sure that it's nice and comfortable. And then try not to go in and out whenever you're, once it's cooled down and the storm's going on, uh, maybe you're in the eye of the, the storm and it's that calm. Uh, try not to open the door up and let all that, that cold air out or the hot air in, depending on thermodynamics and whatever. I'm not going to get in detail with that. But, uh, number two, turn off the electricity at your AC unit. So, uh, mainly at the breaker panel. Go to your condensing unit, um, disconnect or, uh, breaker and just, uh, switch it off. I'll go into more detail in a different video why that's important. Uh, but it, it really, um, to help with surges and if your power flickers on and off and your system's trying to run constantly or it tries to cut back on and uh, it just, it's not good for your unit. Uh, so that's going to help uh, extend the life of your compressor and, and, and help out a lot of things really. Uh, number three is uh, cover your unit. And when I say cover your unit, mainly I'm, th I'm talking about like so that limbs and debris don't uh, get into the unit. So you can take plywood or um, just something that's kind of sturdy and not like a tarp or anything. Uh, that's probably not going to help out a ton other than leaves and like small debris. Uh, but if you're if you have trees, limbs, anything around your outdoor unit, uh, try and cover it uh, with a piece of plywood. Make sure the plywood is secure because obviously if we're going through a hurricane, uh, that's going to go flying and become a uh, projectile, which is worse than the unit uh, getting damaged. But anyways, uh, just use something sturdy, cover up your outdoor unit. Um, and then uh, number four is actually secure that unit. A lot of times, well, per code, we have to uh, strap the units down with hurricane straps. Uh, but sometimes, a lot of times, more often than not, uh, we see those units are not strapped down. They're just sitting there. Gravity's holding them on the ground. Um, consider strapping those, securing those to the platform that they're sitting on. Um, if you have a few minutes and you have a, a, a bag of, of concrete, uh, you can even take and um, create a, a small foundation and secure that unit to that foundation. Uh, obviously, that's not a, a 10 minute task, but uh, in the future, maybe you would uh, want to consider doing something like that. Or you can give us a call and we can try and walk you through uh, the best way to do that. Um, then number five would be um, check any of your check your system over before you start it back up. So if you do go through the storm, uh, you do have a lot of wind. If you have any debris, maybe you had limbs fall down, limbs hit the house. Uh, before you switch that breaker back on in your breaker panel, go ahead and do a quick inspection of the outdoor unit. Make sure that, you know, your copper um, line sets, they're not like cut off or uh, your unit's not flipped over upside down or there's not a tree protruding through the middle of your unit. Uh, you know, just the obvious signs. Um, and then also if you did cover your unit, be sure to uncover it prior to uh, cutting the power back onto your unit. Um, 
Otherwise, we're going to get a service call from you because of high head pressure. So um, then number six is essentially that. Give us a call if you have a problem with anything. If you're unsure, uh, if you suspect that you may have some damage, feel free to reach us out, reach out to us and you know we'll come inspect it. We have no qualms about that. Uh, please understand though, uh, after storms, there are certain areas that we're not allowed to go to. Um, even though it is an emergency, we do want, not having air conditioning is an emergency. Uh, the emergency response teams don't necessarily deem that an emergency. So they may not let us into certain neighborhoods until those areas have been cleared. Um, maybe by uh, Georgia Power or whatnot. So um, just try to be as patient as possible. Also, we tend to get overloaded a lot right after storms with people wanting us to inspect their systems. Um, but we will do our very best to ensure that we get out to you as soon as, as physically possible and, uh, and we'll get you taken care of as soon as possible. Also with us, uh, be sure that you understand that um, we, we don't charge after hours uh, or emergency fees or anything like that during this, like a state of an emergency type situation. Um, so, uh, price gouging is always a concern for people whenever you do have an emergency, uh, happen like this. And, um, it's, uh, our guarantee to you that, uh, our prices in the middle of the night during the hurricane season, um, whenever your system, if, if a hurricane has come through our area, um, I can guarantee you that uh, we're going to do our very best to ensure that um, it doesn't hurt you financially uh, any more than than you know it would if it was just any other day of the week. Uh, so don't don't hesitate to call us on the weekend or in the evenings and um, let us come take care of your systems. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, put a comment in the comment section below. Uh, we'll get to, we'll respond as quickly as possible, um, or reach out to us. Our email address is admin at icebound.us. Uh, there's no dot com, uh, it's just dot us, and that's it. Um, and then our office phone number is 912 748 4822. Uh, that goes straight to the pooler office, and we have 24 hour live operator. So uh, even if it's in the middle of the night, you give us a call and, uh, and, We'll call you back as soon as possible if it's something technical that the, uh, the operator can't help you with, but we'll get you taken care of. Anyways, uh, have a wonderful day. And uh, if you found value in this uh, episode, please click the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you for watching. And this is Tersh with Icebound HVAC Refrigeration out of Savannah, Georgia. Oh,